Hi folks, I was uh, re-watching uh, Girl Rides Watch a video on men not marrying, how deep does the problem go? In it she talks about various things, uh, and such as you know, safe spaces, Xbox culture, and making accommodations to females. And uh, as I was, had just finished re-watching it, uh, I was on uh, Bioware Sociopathy uh, forums, as we like to call it, or Bioware Social Network forums. It's a computer game forum, uh, video game forum for the company Bioware. People exchange ideas about games and what have you. And uh, there was a thread that um, popped up simply titled, No Girls in Multiplayer, question mark. Uh, multiplayer is a mode in, this game, in a game called Mass Effect 3, which basically involves co-op uh, anywhere from one to four players playing together in an effort uh, to complete a mission with 10 objectives, a total of 11 waves of enemies, uh, trying to finish the objectives and basically gain credits, credits to improve level equipment, uh, get better equipment, weapons, uh, unlock classes, and so on and so forth. Uh, those of you who are familiar with computer game jargon will know what I'm talking about, generally speaking. I couldn't help but look at the thread. I had to. And here I saw the very living manifestation of what Girl Writes What had been talking about in her video regarding male safe spaces and Xbox culture. And henceforth, for the duration of this video, at least, I will refer to the playing of video games as uh, an all-encompassing uh, umbrella term to be found in Xbox culture. So Xbox culture equals video games right, for the time being. It specifically was about Xbox culture. I haven't played on the PC, but that's not relevant. Anyway, I couldn't help but comment, and I was initially quite uh, polite about it. And uh, I'm just going to read off the ensuing dialogue. I'm going to post a link for those of you who are interested, and I'll post the dialogue as well of some of the highlights. Basically, the thread starts out this way. It's a female poster saying, Everyone I've played with online is a guy, exclamation mark, and it's dot 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 aggravating, I guess. That's all she really wrote. So, if you're a girl who plays multiplayer on Xbox, headset use is preferred, would you please add me? I think it would be nice to get an all-girl group together. I then posted much, much later. Uh, the thread is enormously long, uh, but these kinds of threads tend to get long. This thread is rather ridiculous. Who cares if players are female or male as long as they are good? Another poster posted, Judging from male behavior towards females online, one might think there is no hope for a human for the human race. So I think she's Polish, which is why she left the definite article out there. Uh, or at least for a d decent part of it. Yes, women play video games. They watch porn. They drive cars. They work. They vote. Get over it and get some sandwiches for your girlfriends while they're pawning noobs online. Uh, and then she added, this was a response to my uh, comment that it who cares as long as the players are good? Yeah, who cares if workers are female or male as long as they are good? And yet females earn less for the same work. Uh, frown, smiley face. Society is a star, 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 star. My response. What does the wage gap myth have to do with anything? We are talking about a multiplayer online game. My question stands. What does gender matter as long as the person is good? A guy probably uh, felt understandably insulted by all this, wrote, wrote the short comment, Sar for being a guy, sheesh. <laughs> and then I wrote, in response to that, female sense of entitlement manifests itself everywhere. Why should this be an exception? Another female poster, uh, this will be rather long, but I think it's important for the context, posts, a stupid common belief is that males are superior in, in, in anything involving competition, wits, strength, and so on, that they are generally superior because of something, something. Some folks just cannot accept that a woman can be as good or even better at traditionally a traditionally male activity than they are. I think that was the Polish uh, poster. And then, and no, it's not a myth, unfortunately. I respond, 
It is a myth, or rather inaccurate man mantra, that is constantly trotted out as it were truth. Women do not do the same work. They make different decisions regarding work. They work less hours, value, having spare time more than men, and are likely to take leaves, more likely to take leaves of absence. Furthermore, why would any employer ever employ a male if by default for the exact same work the employer could save money by employing a, a woman? The employer would save tons of money by only employing females, thus complete mythology. And that went on for a while, uh, and then the response was, no, it isn't a myth. Look up pretty much any reliable anthropological, sociological, and psychological research, and it will show you that women generally aren't getting paid well for the same work. Yes, women do take more leaves of absence. Why? The biological burden of giving birth, as well as the social burden of being viewed in a caretaker capacity. And that went on for quite some time. Uh, I offered up some points. I'll post this in the you can read, read the um, transcript, as it were. And then the same feminist female goes on, and you're pointing out a false dichotomy here. Either the wage gap is a myth, or the employers are all stupid. I said the employer, I, I find the previous comment, I say either the wage gap is a myth, or employers are all stupid, which seems to me perfectly logical, uh, because you would only employ females to save tons of money, right? Either the wage gap is a myth, or employers are all stupid, is a false dichotomy also known as an either-or fallacy. Uh -huh. Furthermore, you're using outright falsities as quote-unquote proof. Recent studies show that women are working more hours than men, and usually for less. However, women are actually less likely to uh, block letters, capital, complain about not being compensated enough, uh, compared to men, to men. Again, if you want to argue this subject, please take it to PMs. If you want to rail against studies and hold on to misogynist beliefs, be my guest. That said, Again, if you want to argue this, please take it to PMs. Okay, so I never bothered with the PM stuff. Note, equating feminism with misandry is false. Again, a logical fallacy. I saw nothing in the OP that really had anything to do with feminism. So on and so forth. Um, finally, this lot rather longish comment. Feminism isn't misandric because it deals not with underpowering and devaluing men, but with deconstructing patriarchy, deconstructing patriarchy which is harmful not just to women and girls, but also to men and boys. That you do not understand that proves that you have a lot to learn, and I would suggest researching what feminism actually is from, from a reputable source. For instance, social behavioral science research, which we know is heavily, heavily, heavily infused with feministic jargon anyway, before spouting off baloney like feminism is misandry. Well, that's what it is, so hardly baloney. The typical logical fallacy of feminism is misandry, a fallacy of composition, is because there are, sure, some very minor subsets of feminism that adhere to misandry, and for whatever reason, people then equate feminism with misandry. Um, and no, we don't know what motives uh, of the OP, but stating that males on Xbox are aggravating doesn't imply those males are stupid. We don't know if she thinks that or if she was being harassed or who knows. Okay. That was rather longish, and I apologize for that, but I think it was necessary, and, and I appreciate you bearing with me on that. So, Xbox culture and male safe spaces. I've said this before, that computer games remain, despite the growing number of female gamers, a male safe sp space. I saw one recent statistic that something like a, six to, a ratio of males outweigh uh, females in a ratio of 6 to 1 on playing the Xbox. Girl writes what in her video talks about male safe space, spaces, places where men can be essentially men. If you are a female and you enter into a, a multiplayer online game on, on Xbox with a large majority of male players, as will inevitably be the case, you will likely find uh, male behavior at its, uh, at its core. Um, men are not going to make accommodations to the females. Um, and she talks about this as well. It's very important that in the work environment, men, men make accommodations towards women to make them feel comfortable. Personally, I don't give a shit, as I mentioned in the thread. I just, if I'm playing with someone, I want them to be competent, I want them to be good teammates, I have their back, they have my back, and that's it. I don't, I don't care if you have a vagina or a penis in that regard. Although the vast majority of players are men, they tend to be much better than females. We just work towards a common goal. It's just a matter of cooperation, not gender. But here we have this incredibly long thread and lots of uh, agreement, of course, remember, female and group favoritism. 
from females saying, yeah, it's horrible, men asking you know, for dates and so on and so forth. That is the environment. It is a male-dominated environment. So you will expect male behavior, which includes, unfortunately, I wouldn't do this because, well, my position is a man going his own way, I just don't care anymore, but men hitting on women if they find out that they're female. And that is what Xbox culture is. I mean, it's male. Women who enter into that culture, as I mentioned in, the, in, in my post, in, inevitably and undeniably de uh, demand some sort of privilege. Let's get an all-girl group, group together. Why? Um, I can't ever imagine a guy saying something like, well, let's get an all-guy group together. And no, I doubt it's just because women are uh, allegedly being sexually harassed on a multiplayer online game. I have severe, severe deep doubts about that one. It is possible, but first off, how can you select sexually harass someone when you can't see the person? At best, you have access to the microphone and you'll hear a couple of words or sentences. Uh, maybe you can make some comments, but uh, it seems a bit hy hyperbolic on the part of the poster. Well, here we see the demand for special privileges. Give us an all-girl an all group of gamers. Let us converge uh, together and only play with other females. Um, and you also see that, as we men, we're much more inter interested in ach achieving the objective, and females, once again, are much more interested in feeling comfortable. They just want to enjoy themselves. Um, multiplayer, this is a co-op game, isn't necessarily com competitive in that sense. Uh, you know, you work together towards a common goal, scores are kept, but at the end of the day, it's pretty irrelevant, but we have that objective in mind. Um, the females care apparently much less about the objective and rather they care much more about being able to play with uh, those who are also vaginally endowed. Um, did anyone else see something wrong in this picture? It's, it's, it's just patently obvious to anyone who peruses forums that women have, if they, even if they do play computer games involved in Xbox culture, there are different sections of the forums, for example, would be much more likely to contribute to the story stuff Whereas I and many others, even though I do talk, comment about the story on my other channel, if you know it, I did make a rather semi-lengthy video about the story and what, how to improve it. I and others will be much more likely to uh, comment on strategies, uh, technical things like builds, classes, weapon use, um, power combinations, and things like that. I mean, we're kind of interested in the nitty-gritty. This might be, a, you know, this is sort of the typical male-female breakdown of, of interest, as it were, I guess. So, no, we're not there to accommodate uh, females. I, I've only played with one or two females before. She was okay. I don't consciously, I don't know, maybe some people I play with are females, but... Um, so, it just doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is, are we going to get the credits? Are we going to finish the objective? Are we going to do it in a decent amount of time? That's all I care about. That's all most guys playing care about, uh, rather than feeling comfortable. Um, what we don't like are bad players. Unfortunately, many females happen to be bad players, so I don't know. That that might be part of it as well. Um, allegedly, they work better as a team, but uh, their lack of technical skills and ability to contribute to the game often results in uh, mediocre results and holds the rest of the team back. So, all about the comfort zone. Uh, and we see also a whittling away of male safe spaces that Bit by bit, one by one, it all just seems to be falling apart. Um, if Xbox culture is truly one of the last bastions of, 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 of male safeness and, uh, and a place where males, men can be men without worrying about the consequences, um, we see it being invaded upon. Uh, quite frankly, it's been invaded, um, it's been invaded, it's been invaded, has been being invaded for, uh, has been invaded for quite some time. To be quite frank, uh, in terms of story, uh, you have a lot of lot of accommodations made to females in order to make them feel more comfortable. There are female romance options and and uh, cheesy uh, white knights the characters that appeal to the the female ego and what have you. What I see here was highly disturbing is multiplayer, which is really just about technique combat uh, combat and strategy, which is which are decidedly male domains being invaded 
by females who have no interest in, in or very few of them, in the actual elements that I'm talking about, combat technique, strategy, and rather just want to be, feel comfortable and just play for fun. Um, look, everyone's free to post what they want. If, if someone wants to f found an all-girl group of, of multiplayer Mass Effect 3 um, players, well, by all means. But I, I'm just seeing a, a, a shrinkage of, of our territories as men, that what we have left for ourselves. I mean, Xbox culture isn't really a whole lot, to be honest. It's, it's a leisure activity. And, you know, some of us have more leisure and some of us have less. Um, but at the end of the day, it's one of the few things we have left for ourselves. And it's being invaded by, by, by women making entitlement demands. And, yes, it, it, it makes me rather uh, upset because obviously misandry was implied when, was, oh, men are aggravating, I guess. Some idiot, idiotic girl who made this comment and this other feminist who goes on about the various studies. Uh, she talks about so <laughs> sociological, behavioral, psychological studies. Well, given the fact that the vast majority of uh, academic literature on these subjects, uh, not all of it, but a large, large, large portion of it, is infused from the get-go, from the outset, with feminist jargon and feminist rhetoric and feminist ideology. Is it any wonder they're getting the results? Um, we're not talking about double-blind, double-blind tests here. We're talking about <laughs> uh, research that has already drawn a conclusion prior to actually conducting the research. So, of course, the results will be uh, decidedly in favor of the claim that there is an actual wage gap. I mean, and the fact that this woman, ra rather randomly, as a random comment, um, as a, my comment, which was legitimate, who cares if you're male or female as long as you're good? And, she, and then she replies, yeah, who cares if workers are female or male as long as they're good and yet females earn less than... That had to be inserted, right? Um, this is another technique of feminists and, well, with a capital F, but also females in general, with a lowercase, since I believe feminism inherit to the vast majority of females, to deflect, to um, make contributions to argumentation. Well, it's not real argumentation, is it? But to make con contributions to alleged argumentation or the illusion of argumentation by adding things that are completely irrelevant to it. Um, how was mentioning the mythology that females earn less for the same work even relevant to the discussion? This was about a multiplayer online game and why it was relevant uh, or not if there were men, if, if only men were playing or women and whether they're good or not. And that was the, the topic of discussion. So it really boggles the mind. Well, it doesn't boggle the mind if you're, if you're not new to this. But in some sense, it should boggle the mind that we, we have comments uh, like this. And yes, some men are offended as the guy said, sorry for being a guy, sheesh. I mean, just imagine the uproar had a male poster on Bioware sociopathy forums posted something along those lines uh, instead of what the OP had posted no girls in multiplayer something like no guys in multiplayer or women are bad players or something like that not only would he have been skewered and, and thrown upon um, thrown upon the, the pyre and incinerated he would have been instantly banned he probably would have lost access to his game as well. I'm, I'm almost willing to bet money on that. Um, so women get to, get to say whatever they want. They get to do whatever they want. And multiplayer, which is about technique, class, and combat, and strategy, is the, one of the few bastions left in Xbox culture. His story has been completely in, in inundated with feminist, uh, feminist virtues. Or not really virtues, really feminist vices and uh, ideology. So... What do we have left? That's all we really have left is the combat and all that, uh, all that good stuff. And yet women want to invade that too. Look, I'm all for it. If a woman wants to play and she's good, I just don't care. Are you going to contribute to the team? I do my part, you do my part. Uh, I, you do your part, I do my part. That's it. Uh, this just seems... Uh, this is off the wall. But, I mean, a while back, Barbarossa also made a video about women invading the comic book convention. I mean, also more or less a male, male-ish activity. I see a, sh a shrinking of the places available where we can just enjoy ourselves and be 
men without having to apologize for being men, which I never do. I don't do that sort of thing, as I indicated in the, in the, in the thread. But um, the other interesting thing, which unsurprising, that we saw tons of manginas kissing up to women. Yeah, I don't like talking about uh, playing with men either, even though, even though I'm a guy, because they'll ask silly questions like, are there sex slaves in the game Warhammer? I mean, who cares? Um, but inevitably, the knee-jerk reaction is to be a white knight, to be a mangina, to kiss up to the female. Um, look, it is quite possible, I don't know, that you will be, what, however loosely defined the term is, quote-unquote, sexually harassed in a, in a multiplayer online game by men. <laughs> who might, who might, if they find out you're a girl, might hit on you. I'll, I'll use the term hit on. Sexual harassment is ridiculous anyway. So what? Like I said, six to one ratio. There are many, many more men, despite what females claim. Um, and we see the erosion, the erosion of our, our safe spaces. What is, what is left? I mean, certain places on the internet, of course, you have argumentative and, and vindictive, vindictive females and feminists invading those as well trying to get channels banned and, and, and flagged, and, and it just never ends. Um, and, you know, I, had to, I have to think right now of, of Girl Rights What's <laughs> video, gender is bumming me out. I'm at the point right now, at least at this current minute in time, where I'm pretty bummed out about the whole thing, because there is no sacred spot left. There's no sacred place left. It's everywhere. I just have to walk around the corner and I can see it, you know. And I can't even enjoy a game or, or post on the forums without some sort of nonsense coming from some feminist with lowercase f insisting that there need to be more girl gamers and men need to make accommodations towards them. No, we don't. We really don't. Um, you want to play, then play on our terms. Then play well, and we won't fucking care. Um, I have just zero patience for this sort of thing. But anyway, I thought this was relevant and topical because she, Girl Rights What, did talk about Xbox culture, specifically a male safe space where men just don't give a fuck. And I think in large measure it's a positive sign that uh, men in Xbox culture continue just not to give a fuck. Um, that's a good thing. I hope it, it continues. We, we really, really do not need and should not make accommodations towards female gamers um, because... Uh, this is our baby. This is what, what we've been doing since since the inception of video games. Women have caught on much, much later. They have different interests regarding video games. And, um, you know, the, the industry is already bending over backwards to accommodate uh, women. So, the gaming industry, I mean. So, I, I don't know what's left. Um, the only thing I thought we had left was combat strategy and tactics and working as a team. Um, and different builds and what have you. But, uh, pfft. Of course, women don't contribute to anything about that. They just complain that there aren't enough female gamers. Anyway, I know this is a bit of a rant, but I really didn't think that it was topical. And this, I saw this thread, and it pissed me off. But I'll be sending a, um, posting a link for those of you who are actually interested in following the Mumbo Jumbo in the thread. And thank you uh, very much, Girl Rice Wad, for your very thorough and good work. As always, uh, you are uh, not only a valuable ally, but a necessary one. Um, as I may said in my video, uh, very few people will listen to me or basically any other guy um, just because I'm a guy saying this. So, uh, but no, thank you very much. It was very insightful, that video. Um, cheers. And I'll uh, be seeing you soon enough. Bye.